was not unusual that our three heroes would be whisked away at a moment's notice, for with great power came also great responsibility. The artifact of soul had arcane powers of resurrection, making our three heroes immortal and capable of great deeds and adventures. Sometimes, whether the heroes wanted these adventures or not. I still don't understand how this trine magic works. It's a bit tiresome to put all your life on hold because of a magical candle stand with a flair for abducting bystanders for adventures. I was in the middle of a daring rescue myself. We seem to be at the outskirts of the Astral Academy. This isn't a good place for an adventure. I've already pinched everything. Sing or swim. to the Astral Academy go through a lily pond. Landscaping isn't really a part of the curriculum.
Here's the blasted troublemaker! monster, soon scattering and fading into the wind. Smokes of vile sorceries! Look here! This villain, it's made of junk. Creepy. How's this for an idea? If we all give Trine back its powers, we could go back to living our lives as free and normal people. Freedom. It does sound tempting. The heroes had gained their strange powers in the first place by touching the artifact, and so they reached out to it again. I don't think it's working. Imagine giving away your powers. How about I imagine sticking an arrow through this busy... No! <laughs> This turned out worse than I could have imagined. It's headed for the Academy. All right, that makes it a little worse. And I guess that means... We're going to follow it! What's this? Dark magic! It's taking possession of the roots. Let's see if they fall as easily as the big one. to hear Zoya scream when the artifact ah. broke. Wait, what? You must be talking about Amadeus. Uh, I made no such sound. Well, if neither of you screamed, who was it? Thank you. 
so many days spent fishing, and nothing to show for it. What bad luck. There will be fish stew for dinner. Wizard landscaping? I'm sure they had something practical in mind when they set these up. You went along with us in trying to return things back to normal. But I don't get it. Why would Pontius the Brave voluntarily give up his magic powers? I've been starting to think trying is a little unfair when it comes to prioritizing our adventures between the socio-economic classes. Huh? What? We're always rescuing kings and princesses. What about the sheep?
It looks like this tiny shard of trine gives us some of our old power. Keep it safe, Amadeus. I have a hunch we're going to need it when we track down that dark cloud. Onwards! Mm -hmm.